You can have both, but, you know, some of the guys that are taking you out are probably not going to give you both. <laughs> Either way, I'm really not surprised given this compilations on single mothers when they get to that age, you know, guys just want them for one thing. And uh, let's see some crazy stories, I'm sure. Hang in there. We've got a compilation to go over today. Thanks for joining me. Let's roll the intro. At the end of my last video, I was talking about how being almost 32, I know exactly what I'm looking for because I've been single for a long time and had a long time to think about it. So now we're going to talk about it. So because this has been asked recently, like what my type is, I, you know, I've explained this recently, so I'm going to explain it to you guys. So if someone's asking me what I'm physically attracted to, I always tell them to reference a lumberjack. Talking tall, nice arms bearded face, real mountain man vibes. I really like dark hair and light eyes, so I also say you can use Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid, but bulkier and scruffier as a reference too. Okay, so characteristics. I really like dominant men. I like a man that knows what he wants, says what he wants, does what he wants, and is like a go-getter. Like, he knows what he wants and he goes after it. I love that. That being said, you still want someone that values your opinion. So while he may wear the pants, he still wants your input. That's important. Secondly, because I have a kid, I want someone who will be or is a good dad. That's also important. Thirdly, and because this has been an issue in our past relationship, my last one actually, he has to love sports. I know that seems like a silly request from a man, but I come from a big sports loving family. Sports is like a second religion for us. Um, I cannot date a man who knows nothing about sports. It will never work. You will not fit in with my family. You won't fit in with me. It'll just be awkward. Add country music into that one too, because I love country music. I love all music, but I don't know how to relate to someone who doesn't like country music. I just don't. Another thing is, I don't want someone who's a heavy drinker. Once you've dated an alcoholic, that's a trigger for you. Drinking socially, totally fine. Ending every day blacked out ass drunk, that's a no thank you for me. I'll pass on that, thanks. And lastly, and probably the most important thing to me is I want a man that's a real give you the shirt off your back type of person because that's a characteristic of my dad that I love. And anybody who knows my dad knows he will give you the shirt off his back. You need help, he will drop it and be there. And that's what I want in a person, is a man who will drop anything he can to help others. That's important too. That's my list. I don't think it's that hard, but <laughs> I'm still single, so maybe I'm asking for too much. I don't think I am though. Yeah. Turns out that the guy that was supposed to do that for you, uh, uh, well, took his shirt, put it back on himself, and walked out of your life permanently, as uh, cruel as it is to say, but for real. Um, what a laundry list for somebody who probably doesn't even bring 75% of that. And, uh, you know, as soon as we say something around the lines of you have to be under 200 pounds, um, they just hightail it or call you a misogynist, but uh, wow, I'm just blown away by that one. For a single mother, too? Yikes, man. No thanks. No thanks. That's a no for me, dog. Anyways, let's move on to whatever the next clip is. Married friends, when you're thinking about... Um how much you hate your husband or your spouse and you're like ah just leave him don't here's why i went on a date with this guy and like he was cute we met whatever and we get to talking about pay phones and he looks at me and he's like well i never even seen a pay phone i wouldn't even know how to use one and i go hold on how old are you 
when agreeing to go on this date or like dating, it had never even occurred to me in my brain that I would have to worry about someone being like too young for me because I haven't dated in a decade. <laughs> this kid was born in 1998. I mean, I'm too, I, I'm too old to have been his babysitter even, or like, uh, it's fucking rough out there. Yeah, well, maybe you should date people that are more around your age, right? I get it. You probably want as young as a guy as you can possibly get, but uh, eh, look what happened. Now you're out here dating for some reason or another, and nobody really wants to be that person. Anyways, not a very interesting one there. Kind of funny, though, for all those that remember Titanic. But she's still out here looking for her Jack to this day. Let me play the world's smallest violin. Let's move on to the next clip. All right, I'm gonna try to get better at not being so rambly. Um, I'm just coming on to say that I learned a big lesson this week with dating, which is to trust your gut. I know this, I have experienced this over and over where something feels wrong, it is wrong. But I ignored that um, with a guy that I had met on Bumble. He lived out of state. I've never met anyone out of state before, but um, I decided I need to be more open and just kind of see what happens. And we did click on the phone, um, but there was just something I kept questioning. I said to a friend of mine over and over, I think I like him and yet there's something really just off and I don't know what it is. I've never been this nervous. I've never just felt like this unsure about something. And he told me that he was a doctor. So, um, you know, I Googled him and I could see where he definitely was in med school, but like I couldn't find where he worked. Just things that you should be able to easily find on Google. I do that every day for my job, um, find doctors. So I just was feeling weird. I just, if I would ask him about his day, he would be really snappy about it. Um, at one point he disappeared for 24 hours and he said he was sick. And then he said he was in a hotel because his internet went out, um, which could all be true. And so I was trying to like be more open and not question things and just be okay. Um, so the time came that he said he would come meet me. I said, that's cool. You need to get a hotel room if you don't want to drive back to the state where you're from, he's from two hours away. So, you know, um, you know, I made it clear, like, I don't, I don't know you, you're a stranger from the internet. He gets here Friday night. Um, we meet in a parking lot to go to dinner. Um, he was really just kind of agitated and like kind of threw his phone at me to try to fit cause he couldn't figure out the parking. And, um, it was just like a really weird beginning that I thought, okay, you know, just awkward maybe he's nervous whatever um but the whole dinner was like that like he kept asking me questions like about if he really did need somewhere to stay and I'm like you don't have a hotel and he's like no you know and I'm like you really need somewhere to stay <laughs> um and so he was like well you know I came here to see you the least you could do is help me out a little bit like he just a couple of times just kind of jumped on me um and I think he could tell when I would kind of react to be like sorry you know but it was just the most bizarre thing um he ended up driving back long long story long here he drove back and um all is over there but um I just want to reiterate, listen to your gut. I knew this was wrong from the beginning, and I just did it anyways, and I'm not going to do that anymore. Yeah, I didn't catch all the details here because she was rambling a bit and kind of lost me, but man, guys, if I could provide you one clip from watching, or one piece of advice from watching this compilation is don't drive out of your state to meet a damn woman. There are plenty of women in your state. My God, just try harder. And this for this come on get real get real i can't believe it either way we're gonna wrap things up at the 10 minute mark here thank you so much for watching always do your due diligence so you don't end up with people like this <laughs> have a great day and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now